Okay, good afternoon. V3PCP here, Rob, from Tiverton, Ontario. We're uh, doing some testing this afternoon. We got a about a 16-foot uh, fiberglass pole here with a, a dipole hung up on the top of it. We got an 80-meter and a 40-meter dipole uh, fed with through a ballon, one-to-one ballon through RG8X coax. And uh, we're setting up a system in a couple of weeks for uh, Jamboree on the air. And I wanted to do some testing in the backyard here, so I'm also setting up a test range here that uh, we're going to be using in the future. I have my storage trailer here, so we're going to have a pole on it. And uh, we got about a couple hundred feet of depth here in the lot where we can do this. And then I'm going to put a pole up on the back of the garage up there, uh, a little bit closer uh, to where we're... Uh, we're going to have probably about 150, 40 feet or something like that between the, the poles and then we'll put one in the ground sort of in the center of them. So we'll go up here to the where we got the station set up and uh, as luck would have it we were pretty well close to bang on with the 40 meter dipole. The 80 meter dipole was the one that was already made. So we had the 40 meter dipole to it and uh, <clears throat> first time around it uh, it tested fine, uh, zeroed or uh, designed around 7200. So just do an auto tune there. We'll do a tune up, and as you can see, we're we're uh, about 1.5 to one, which is pretty good. And we can go all the way up to the pretty much up to the top end of the band, and still be under two to one or thereabouts which is uh, certainly fine with me. Just do an auto-tune here. And we'll tune it again. Yeah, we're just under two to one. So that's pretty well acceptable. So then we go up to uh, 80 meters. Auto-tune again. And same sort of results. We'll just adjust this up a little bit here. And we're about 1.3 to one there at uh, 37.95. And we can go I think up to about uh, 38.75 and still be well within the 2 to 1 range. Yep, so we're just uh, just slightly above 2 to 1 there at, uh, at 38.75. So we got lots of, uh, of lots of range for uh, Jamboree on the air. And uh, we did do uh, work some stations there earlier on uh, on 40 meters, we worked uh, Vermont. Um, got a 5.9 plus plus out of Vermont and a 5.7 out of uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So on 40 meters, which we're quite happy with. Um, 80 meters right now is pretty dead. There's not much going on there. Not many signals. So there's really not much chance to try it on there, but uh, I have tried it before and I know that the 80 meter uh, dipole works well. <clears throat> so we go back to 40 meters here, and there's some good signals on there today. I'll definitely uh, check those out. Again, thanks for taking my check-in, and I hope you have a great day. This is W4MRW, clear. I'm not sure where these fellows are from. By the way, the rig here is a Kemo TS850. It's, uh, it's a nice nice radio, uh, an older one, but uh, it, it works very, very well. And we have a pyramid phase three uh, um, power supply and a Swan uh, Mini SWR meter, which again these all work very well and great for portable portable use. Let's see if we can find somebody to make contact with here. We'll stay away from 7200. This may be uh, WNMVT again. We worked him earlier on 
So the uh, the end of the the 80 meter dipole is kind of right above my head here, about uh, six or eight feet off the ground, six feet I guess. And then the 40 meter one is over uh, kind of in the trees, where you can't really see the end of it, but it's uh, you know eight or ten feet off the ground. Ground, so it's not quite a flat top. It is not so much an inverted V either, but uh, uh, I think for NVIS it'll work very very well and give us lots of uh, lots of contacts for uh, jamboree on the air. We're hoping. We're also going to have a, a 20 meter antenna as well, uh, as well as a 40 meter vertical. Uh, both of them are mobile antennas we'll have on our, our uh, event trailer that we're going to have there. So we'll switch back and forth between them all. Going to be running two rigs. The other rig is a Camo TS440 that we're going to be running for it. I know there are some fellows here down around 7. 7.08 that are in, uh, one fellow's in Ontario, so and to hear somebody in Ontario on 40 meters is pretty, pretty unlikely. There's a contest going, a CW and RTTY contest going on today, so. Yeah, this fellow is in Ontario, I believe. Anyway, so something thrown together with some uh, spare wire head kicking around and so forth, it seems to work pretty well. And like I said, the 80 meter dipole is an existing one. Uh, it runs with uh, one to one Ballon uh, RG80X coax. I think it's 12 gauge wire insulated. And the uh, wire used for the 40 meter uh, dipole is 18 gauge uh, stranded insulated wire. Both black, so they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty hard to see. So anyway, we're hoping that, uh, that it works really well. Anyway, that's it for now. This is Rob uh, Victor Echo 3, Papa Charlie Papa, signing off for now. See you next time.